more dope. Knife dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Ready to get all y'all knife junkies needs met. Got three knives that I just got. These two came in on uh, Saturday and this girl landed here this morning. Now, um, instead of stretching this out for three videos, I decided to go ahead and give you guys one big hit of dope. We're gonna go ahead and go over all three of them. Uh, but first, if you do enjoy the content, I'd ask that you would share, like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe, goddammit. It does help the channel, it does trick that algorithm, and it does help your boy to go viral. All right, enough of that shit. Uh, the two spider codes that we're gonna take a quick look at, these are not new releases. These are knives that have been released in the past, but they are brand new to my collection. So I wanted to uh, share with you guys. You know we all love to do this shit, all for the content. Doing it for the culture, baby. Uh, let's see which one we're gonna go to first. We're gonna take a look at this, this one first. This one was an exclusive, to be exact. This one is a St. Nick's exclusive. But not any St. Nick's exclusive. In my opinion, one of the most sought after. And I feel very fortunate that I've been able to add it to my collection. None other than the St. Nick's exclusive Native 5, baby, in CPM 4V. Man, would you look at that. She's a beautiful gal, isn't she? Uh, real quick, in case you guys are not familiar with this, this knife came out, I believe, last year sometime. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick opportunity to pause and give a screenshot. Whenever you get these exclusives, they always will have an insert in there telling you about it. And they, whenever you have a stainless steel, they're gonna always give you this card notifying you of such. Just some quick things to look out for. Like I had mentioned, this uh, this knife sold out long ago when it, when it dropped. So anytime you're able to get it now, you're gonna be getting it on the secondary market. I was very fortunate that I was able to actually get this. This is from uh, Mr. Sharif Manganis' personal collection. Uh, he kept it in exquisite condition and it is now part of my uh, collection. Real quick, I'll go over some specs for you guys. Overall length on the, uh, on the Native 5 is coming in at 6.98 inches. We've got a blade length coming in just under three at 2.98 inches. Once again, we're rocking that CPM 4V. Uh, Closed length on this knife's four inches, and your uh, blade stock thickness is coming in at 125 thousandths. Uh, now, for y'all who might not be familiar with 4V, super tough steel, great wear resistance. Uh, not a stainless steel, though, so you got to take care of it. Um, it's actually one of Spyderco's most iconic models, to be honest with you. Um, it's been in their it's been in their lineup for for as long as I can remember. Uh, this version you see in front of you does have the signature theme of St. Nick's, which is the black and red. Uh, this knife in front of you does have the vibrant red colored handles, uh, which are constructed from the Peel Ply Texture G10. The handles are also supported by stainless steel backspacer for added strength. And also housed in here is the very reliable, very strong back lock true ambidextrous lock to be honest with you you can actuate that lock right or left-handed and you can deploy the knife and close it one-handed not many back locks are like that however uh spider co has mastered it and it is um one of my favorite models that forward uh that forward finger choil does allow for a full purchase no refund full purchase no refund that's right let me throw up a couple of knives real quickly in case the numbers don't do it for you. Uh, do a little size comparison. First up, we're going to put it up there against another St. Nick's exclusive, and that is the PM3. There you go, seeing it up there against that PM3. Keeping that same vibe, let's go ahead and throw it up there against the Sage 5, baby. So there it is up against the Sage 5 and against that PM3. 
Hopefully that gives you guys a good idea on it. That's about it we're gonna be doing on this knife. Uh, it's not like you guys probably haven't heard about it before. I just wanted to share. So that being said, let's get to the next one, God damn it. All right, this next one that we got up here. This one, just like the one we just took a look at, is one that I had been wanting for quite a long time. I've heard all positive things about this knife. Um, take a quick glance there, let you see if you can figure that one out. But if not, we about to, we about to do the damn thing. I stop hitting this goddamn camera. Talking about none other than the Spider Spiderco Capara, baby. Oh man, look at this. This is a beauty. And I'm blessed to have, look at that fucking blade, my Lord. Uh, now the Capara, this one came in, I think it was about $233. Uh, the Native 5, when it dropped, it was about 165. However, that has only gone up in value. I paid 200 for the Native 5. Uh, anyways, back to the Capara. Do some specs real quick. We're looking at about 8.27 inches overall length. Our blade length's coming in at 3.58 inches. The uh, blade steel on this is Spyderco's very reliable and all over the place CPM S30V. Um, I do kind of wish maybe they would, um, well, I shouldn't say that. Spyderco uses a gazillion different steels, but this is kind of their uh, bread and butter, so to speak. The um, close length on this guy is 4.69 inches. The blade thickness is coming in at 118 thousandths. This is a compression lock, which I absolutely love. Super fidgety. You can, and it's a true ambidextrous lock. Some may argue because they say it's a little bit harder for a left-handed person to actuate it. I disagree. Um, it does have a reversible deep carry wire pocket clip, right or left hand tip up carry. Uh, the scales are constructed in true solid carbon fiber there is some contouring going on let me give you guys a little bit of history on the capara the capara is actually the brainchild of the um, australian custom knife maker by the name of alistair phillips um, this is actually as an basically an, an homage to the popular red back folder design um, from mr phillips the name itself is actually named after an Australian spider that has a distinctive red stripe along the back of its abdomen. So because of that, Spyderco went ahead and replicated this by putting in this red backspacer. I think that looks pretty awesome. Uh, it does have skeletonized liners. So they worked on giving us that weight reduction. And you guys can see there, but it has quite a bit of weight reduction in there. Skeletonization is in full effect. Now, the, um, the liners are capped with the solid carbon fiber scales. These are also crown scales. Fills the hand nicely. The ergos are official. Um, you do have that 50-50 finger choil, which also does allow for a full purchase, no refund. Full purchase, no refund. That's right. Super slicey blade. Fidgety as a fuck. Let me put up two knives real quick to give you guys a better idea. Let's put it up there against an American classic. We're talking about the Spyderco PM2 Blade HQ exclusive Tonto apparatus. So you can see that it's, uh, I think it's actually a little bit longer than the PM2. And that's something. Let's go ahead and bring it back down to size. Let's throw it up there against the little native baby. So there you can see that size discrepancy. Um, the Capara is a full size knife. So hopefully that gave you guys a better idea. Um, I'm sure you've seen the Capara before. So there you have it in the collection, the Capara. All right, last knife. We're talking about another offering from Vasti. Now, I had just unboxed the Corgi and it, it's okay. You know, it, it grew on me a little bit more than when I first opened it up. Um, but that being said, I don't see it sticking around that long. Um, I kind of didn't know what to put my finger on when I was like, thinking about it. And then I spoke to my boy, Duty, who kind of, what he said made me realize, like, yeah, that's what it is. 
And what it is, is those micarta scales on the Corgi, when you deploy it, it, it kind of gives you like a, like a weak thud. It's just not satisfying, you know? Like when you have a nice uh, titanium knife or whatnot, when you flick it open, it gives you that satisfying thunk. It doesn't have that with the um, Corgi. But anyways, I digress. New knife from Vasti coming on up. The knife, this knife here from uh, Vasti is actually the second version of this knife that I bought. I uh, bought one when it first dropped last year. And that is none other than the Nightshade. So as you can, as you, uh, as we've come to expect from uh, Vasti, they always give us a sticker. And there goes the sticker, Nightshade. You have the uh, city, city skyline, so to speak. Not necessarily, not necessarily sure what that's got to do with nightshade, but they also give us that Velcro pouch. Put that there for now. And the taco shell pouch as well. Rather, that was the patch. This is the pouch. What we have in front of us today is the newest version of the nightshade. This one is the one with the finger hole cut out. I had the flipper. The version you see here in front of you is the black PVD coated stonewash blade with the black micarta scales. Um, yeah, I'm digging this one. You know, the flipper one was a good one, but I sold it once this uh, hole cutout came into play. Oh man, that shit flies out. D10 is dialed the fuck in. Ergos are just as good as the original. That micarta, it's not... Um, it's not bad, pretty smooth, not much, not much texture, uh, a little bit of texture in there. It is smooth though, um, not the best, but by far not the worst. Let's put up, uh, give you guys some uh, quick specs on this one. 7.48 inches overall length, blade length coming in at 3.26 inches. We've got a uh, blade stock thickness coming in at 118 thousandths. Our handle length's coming in at 4.22 inches. Now this is a shilling cutter. Um, you have the pointy negative angle tip, which is perfect for slicing, push and draw cuts. The handle is uh, contoured micarta. It does melt in the hand. It also allows maximum control when operating the knife. It is a liner lock deployed via your hole cutouts. We have uh, stainless steel liners and we have a 154 cm blade steel. Uh, Vosteed is reporting that they're running their uh, 154 with an HRC of plus or minus 60. So basically 58 to 62. Uh, we also have a full flat grind, crown spine, okay. Fine jimping here at the base for when you are choked up, you got a place for your thumb to rest. Uh, detent is dialed the fucking super snappy. Knife is riding on cage ceramic bearings, uh, ceramic detent ball. It's a winner, man. I think this one was $72, give or take. It may have been like $69. No, I think it was $72. And it's, it's fabulous, man. I, I actually used the shit out of my flipper one. It was a, it was great. Absolutely great. Let's uh, quickly throw up a couple of knives to get you guys out of here just for some size comparison. Knife flex time. Put it up there against that Spidey, uh, Spidey Chef from Spyderco. I'll tell you what, this would actually give us a better idea of... Uh, oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Um, there it is up against the Spidey Chef. Keeping that same Spyderco energy, we're going to put it up there against that smock. So you can see how it looks against the smock and the Spidey Chef. Let's do two mo. Up there against the legendary Spider Co Shaman. Blah, that is River's Edge Cutlery exclusive. Last but certainly not least, murdered out rendition of the Spider Co Manix 2. What y'all think? Hopefully, these knives gave you guys a better idea of the size. If the numbers didn't work for you, but. There we have it. What you guys think? A good haul, I think, in my opinion. You know, we have the Capara. We have the, um, the Vosti. God damn it, where's my other one at? 
and surely not last, or last but surely not least, the Native 5. That is the um, St. Nick's exclusive. What you guys think? Did I score? Score one for the good guys? I believe so. Oh, in closing, this is where I got my Kapara at, knives ship free. That was my first time using them, but I can guarantee you that it won't be my last. Great customer service, really seemed like some decent people over there, and they got me the knife fast too. And they shipped it for free, goddammit. What you know about that? Anyways, love you, mean it. Until the next time, cut something, cut someone, just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers.